Okay, so a not so little something arrived in the mail today from cat print. And I'm not super sure how I'm gonna handle showing my face and unboxing it, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna flip down to the top down view and we're gonna cut this thing open and take a look at my prints. Okay, so it arrived in this somewhat large, very heavy box. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it open. I apologize for the background noise if that bothers you. I live in a neighborhood and there are a lot of the kids here and I actually really like that. It's a very lively neighborhood, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're just playing and nobody is getting stabbed or hurt. See if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Okay, we'll try it like this. Inside are a bunch of these, which I'm actually going to save for basil. Maybe doing this outside was not the best idea. And then inside are my prints. Looking good so far move those out of the way we also have a code and then we have the larger prints oh basil's gonna like this because these are the cornstarch ones the yeah these are the unflavored cheeto ones and that means he can play with these so those are gonna be for basil all right so i found out about cat prints from the recommendation of a couple of friends of mine, Kabocha and Electric Abyss. They both spoke very highly of cat prints and I'd kind of avoided doing prints for years because prints are just not really a big seller for me. Um, but I'm kind of switching what types of shows I'm doing. So we will see. Okay, so we have a 10% off code that I assume is not exclusive to me because it's paw print, so you guys are welcome to use it. I wish I'd had a code that worked at the time. I think you can also do uh, referral codes too. And then they have a hashtag for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Oh, oh, Twitter, oh, Twitter. So everything has been, um, something I like is that each size is individually wrapped to protect that size so it doesn't get damaged. I also like the inclusion of biodegradable packing material. Uh, so, so far, so good. Pretty happy about it. So I did three sizes. One is a custom, I think it's like nine by nine or eight by eight, something like that. Cause I have these flower, as you guys can see, watercolor illustrations that I wanted to be able to offer prints of them. I also did 9 by 12 because 9 by 12 is a fairly easy size to find frames for just, you know, Walmart, Michaels. And then I believe I did 10 by 14 because 10 by 14 is a common paper size. So something weird is that frames, mats, and paper sizes, what's standard for one is not standard for the others. So uh, some of these things would take a little bit of ingenuity to frame, but you could honestly get a mat and then get a frame if you wanted to do that. But this is the largest, I believe it is 10 by 14. So I am going to be sorting, bagging, and matting these tonight, but I did want to open them and take a look at them with you guys. I believe I went with the white felt because since most of my work is watercolor, I felt like this would be um, the most appealing uh, option for that. And they seem to be shrink wrapped. Don't want the wind to catch it, but I think they look pretty good. The colors are very saturated and vibrant. You can even see the one stray cat hair that got in there. That's how you know it is a Becca Hilburn original or a Becca Hilburn piece of art is there is some Bowie in it. Now, a friend of mine suggested 
that you basically format your prints in such a way that you have multiple prints on one very large sheet of paper and you do the cutting yourself. I cannot cut a straight line without a paper cutter to save my life. So I did take that advice, but in a very limited capacity. Um, I will try to show you. I did some bookmark designs just to kind of see how I felt about them and if they sell and if there's something worth doing. Um, bookmarks at anime cons used to do pretty well for me, but those were the laminated ones with like a ribbon tassel. And I don't think I'm going to be laminating these. I don't think that's the plan, but we will see. I'm so hesitant to open these because once they're open, I have to do something with them immediately so that they don't get all dinged up and catified. Cat prints should understand that. I believe they are cat people themselves and I believe they also like donate a certain amount of their proceeds. Don't, don't quote me on this, go check their website out because I think they do talk about it. That or they like help a specific foster or something. And then, actually, I really like the Louisiana foods at this size. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the print quality. And this was a relatively expensive order since I ordered so many. But I think, oh, here's the book. Here's one of the bookmark sets. So this is just the right size for me to get it in my paper trimmer and trim it down to size. Those are big, those are big bookmarks though. I don't think I have to do nine by 12. That's like children's picture book size bookmarks. Like that's a bookmark big enough to hang out both ends of your book. I, that would not bother me. I also dog ear my books. So I'm that person, which is why you should never loan me your books. Um, See if I can find any of the other bookmarks. I'm actually pretty happy with these, which is unusual because usually when I get prints of my work, I hate it. Also big, but very pretty. So yeah, I'm sorry, I should be showing you guys this. It's just uh, challenging to show you guys these prints and then the bigger ones the 10 by 14 will be even more difficult to show so what I'm going to do with the these is I am going to bag them and uh, put some tag board in the back to give them some stability although they are on pretty nice paper and I'm going to make sure it is clear that these are prints because I also sell originals and one of my pet peeves of selling at shows is that people think my originals are prints and they're like why is this so expensive and it's like because it's an original and then they will refer to my originals as prints when talking to other people like look at her beautiful prints and I'm like thank you for showing my work to other people but those are originals and I do have postcards but I think these prints are gonna be like a nice I'm hoping at least these will be a nice middle ground that'll be a little bit more accessible and a little bit more affordable because while I like owning original art by illustrators and we have buku art in our house that needs to get framed for that i understand that not everyone can afford to do that and not everyone to be fair i'm not buying from like super well-known people i'm buying from my friends and other comic artists that i know and like so it's much more affordable than buying like something really big name but um actually we have some Raina telgemeier pages from um when she was doing babysitters club so that's cool but um, that was purchased with, they were having like a big sale and um, I think they were like moving. So we don't have anything that is like worth a lot of money to other people, but I also don't want to adhere to and uh, buy into the speculative art market. I think it's incredibly destructive to actual art. So um, anyway, I know not everybody wants to spend or can spend $75, $150, $200 on an original illustration. But hopefully some of these prints will be a way more accessible way to um, 
have some fun and lively art in their studio, in their library space, in like a shared room, like a great room or a den, in the bathroom even. Some of these pieces would be cute in the bathroom, in the kitchen, because I've got a lot of food related pieces, or in a kid's bedroom or a grandkid's bedroom. So um, hopefully this will make it a little bit more accessible for people who like my art and would like to support my art to be able to afford to do so. And when I get the time, I will also make sure that I have these prints up on the Natto shop and I am eventually going to rehab my old Etsy, which is Etsy.com slash Natto Soup. That's why I want to rehab it, not just make a new one. And I will have uh, prints and maybe originals up there as well. So keep an eye out for that. So since this is like a review of cat prints, what did I think? I think their print quality is great. I'm actually really excited about their print quality. I have done postcards and prints and photo prints from a variety of sources and frankly, while photo prints are great and they're great for anime cons, you can only go so big and then they start to look, unless you're doing digital art where they usually look pretty good, with traditional art they start to look kind of tacky, kind of cheesy. Um, I think these really capture the feeling of the original very well and I'm really happy about that. They also seem to have printed true to the colors in the file, not dark and not too light. Um, so Shutterfly tends to print too dark and Moo often prints too dark. So it's nice that these look like the files that I sent them. So that's also exciting. Um, also, I had to do, so they are not going, they don't have the kind of interface you might be used to with Shutterfly or Moo or even like Walgreens. You're gonna have to do the cropping yourself before you submit the files. You are going to have to select the file sizes in their their ecosystem. They don't really have an app necessarily. It's like an applet. Um, so it's not as fully featured as some print services. However, if you are making prints as an artist to sell, you should be familiar with this kind of thing. You should be used to these kind of hoops. And I would say the trouble I went through ordering my prints was well worth the prints that I received. I also feel like their prices are pretty fair. Prints tend to have a really good margin in terms of what you pay for the base materials versus what you can sell it for as a piece of art with your art or a, is it a, is a print a piece of art? Would you guys consider it a piece of art? As somebody who sells originals, I'm kind of like, I don't know about that, but I guess it is. It's just not the original piece of art. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What was I saying? Oh, uh, what you can sell as the artist selling your art. And I, okay, so my signature is abysmal. Like it doesn't look good at all. I would love to sign these and sell them as signed prints and, and number them and stuff like that. Um, I really want to order or make a Honko style stamp because I feel like that would at least make up for the fact that my signature looks not like a very good signature but uh, my plan was to sign all of the prints and, and date them and uh, put like a figure out how many prints I've ordered and do like an addition on them to make them a little bit more you know a little more special like you're not just getting like a print that the artist didn't care about like you're getting something that the artist did care about and put a lot of thought into and wanted to be able to offer at a more affordable price for most people so um I am really satisfied with my cat prints experience. I am really happy about the print quality. I think they turned out beautiful. Look at these, they did, they do edge to edge printing. A lot of people don't do edge to edge printing, especially if you're not doing photo prints. So what that basically means is that they overprinted it and then they cut it down to size. So that's pretty dang cool. And they also do custom sizes like I show, oh yeah, I have a few of the Louisianas as prints. Yeah, smart that there, go you. Um, uh, you can also do custom sizes, you can do weird sizes, you can if you want to be more frugal and have a bunch of prints on a sheet and cut it yourself. Again, I can't cut a straight line to save my life so I thought doing it this way would save Honestly, I figured I'd ruin a bunch of prints doing it that way. So I'm saving money doing it this way. But if you are good at cutting, and some people are, um, 
that could be an option for you as well. I did pay to expedite the shipping. So if you are working with cat prints, I would recommend not waiting until like two weeks before your show, you know, um, it's the sort of thing you definitely want to save some money on your shipping and let it take the slow amount of time shipping because I think I paid like $70 in shipping. So that was very expensive and that's a, a cost I'm going to have to factor in, but that was the price you pay for quick turnaround in terms of shipping. So, um, my recommendation would be go ahead and have all that figured out and have that submitted. So you're not paying a boatload of shipping because they're like, their cheapest shipping is really very reasonable. I forgot how much it was, but I paid a lot more to have it expedited to me. So that's basically my experience with cat print. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with it. I hope this was useful, helpful, and informative for your questions. They do offer other services as well, like folders and stickers and a bunch of other things that I look forward to playing around with in the future the folders the lisa frank nerd in me is like excited about the idea of folders so um i hope this was helpful useful and informative for you guys and um i wish you the best of luck in your printmaking experiences bye guys Here's some footage from when I originally placed the order just to give you guys an idea of the amounts, like how many of each I'm ordering, what sizes I'm ordering, and how much it costs. You really want to make sure you have everything already sized and cropped in your photo editing software of choice because it doesn't really, they don't really allow for a lot of editing if if any editing, but you get what you specify, which I really appreciate. And while at the time I was placing this order, I felt kind of anxious because it felt very expensive. I am just so delighted with the quality and how good the colors turned out. Honestly, the cat prints prints are the best prints I've ever ordered. And they are, I'm really actually proud of them. And I never get to say that because other than my postcards, I never really feel proud of my prints. So it's a nice change of pace. So here are some up close shots of the prints just to give you guys an idea of how they look. Um, I apologize that the lighting isn't doing them the most favors, but hopefully it'll give you guys a pretty good idea. They look very, very, very close to original watercolors, especially the ones that have a border. The cat prints felt that I use for this. It's like their felt cardstock, and that's what they recommend for art prints like this. It looks really good with traditional media art. It looks very legit. So it makes me really excited to be able to offer them because this is really what I was looking for. This is really close to what I want. And I probably should experiment on um, actually trying to paint on their papers like as a line art and see if that could be an option for me to offer some really really nice high scale coloring sheets so that's something to definitely keep in mind for the future So this is what they look like bagged and tagged. I have chipboard and my postcard in the back and they are in UV protective bags. I think they look really nice like this. I also signed them with Posca's. I wanted to go with something that would be a little bit more archival, but I am gonna be ordering a Honko style stamp in the near future so I can actually stamp the front and so that it'll look 
just better than my terrible signature. I also want to include some footage from the Destrahan Fall Fest. This is where I debuted these prints. So on one side of the booth, I have originals and things like that. And then on the other side, I have my postcards and my prints. I'm also using some retail grids that I purchased from a friend. And I really feel like this helped level up my art a lot. I have a full review talking about my experiences at Fall Fest coming up for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. I also share what I learned. Um, in the years between the first year and the second year. But I wanted to share this because it really shows you guys how much more confident I feel with my prints. And I really enjoy how my cat prints prints turned out. And I would definitely recommend them to a friend, especially if you want to do higher end art prints.